fine. It's just me. Go back to sleep. Hey, I said it's fine. Stop squirming. What are you doing? Hey, stay here. If you shovel off the duvet, you'll let all the warmth leak out. Keep still. What? Well, I... I had a really rough day, and I'm grumpy, and I'm cold, so I need someone to snuggle. What do you mean? It's only the two of us in this apartment, remember? So, whom else exactly am I supposed to snuggle with? Now keep still. I want to go to sleep. Oh, for real now? All I want is some sympathy after the universe decided to serve me some extra fries with my poop sandwich of a day today. So, can you please stop being so difficult? What is even your problem? I'm, I'm not doing anything weird. I'm just wrapping my arms around you. Well, and nuzzling you a little. Why are you so against it? I had a shower, if that's what you're worried about. Yeah, but... Why else would you not want to snuggle with me? Do you have some sort of problem with me or whatever? Oh, and when exactly was I supposed to ask for your permission? You were asleep, remember? Oh wow, are you being serious right now? Sorry buddy, this is just some perfectly platonic cuddling. I am not groping you. so. Don't get your hopes up, creep. Oh, cut it out, will you? I have to put my hand somewhere. Yeah, yeah, okay, not there. So then, further up or further down? Oh, wow. Okay, okay, I got it. Further up. Sheesh, calm down, don't wet your pants. Here, is that better? Then stop making a fuss already. Oh, come on. I know perfectly well you're actually enjoying this. By the way, you always gawk at me. You, you've probably been fantasizing about cuddling me since I first moved in with you. Am I right? So don't give me that. I know you're always pretty defensive about getting touched, but I really need some snuggles right now. And you'd get some scratches and back rubs out of this. A classic win-win, if you ask me. So shut up already and let me cuddle you. <laughs> what? No, I am not sniffing your hair, you creep. I'm, um, just making sure you showered before I decide whether or not to cuddle you any further. I certainly don't like the smell of your hair. You smell all right. Acceptable, that's all. If, if anything, I'm getting grumpy again because men get all the cool shampoo fragrances while society leaves me smelling like a fruit basket. So shut up already and let me nestle into your hair. Oh, seriously now? Can you please cut it out? I was late for work. My boss was mean to me today. I, I worked two hours overtime and I still have a freaking truckload of work in my inbox that actually isn't mine. It's just all my coworkers are lazy butts who just play dumb whenever the problems pop up. The baker was out of my favorite pastries, and my dinner was yesterday's casserole, microwaved. I had a really, really bad day. I am frustrated, I am tired, and my feet are cold. I don't have the nerve anymore to deal with your complaints. I just want to snuggle up to something warm and fall asleep. So please, please stop. Stop complaining around and just keep still. And if I could put my hands under your shirt, that would be really great too. 
Why do you even sleep with a shirt on in the first place? I hoped that I could... Never mind. <sighs> oh, are you still going on? You should count yourself lucky, dude. There's probably a ton of guys out there who'd be willing to do anything to be my little spoon. You are in a really privileged position right now, don't you know? You don't get cuddles like these every day, so stop complaining already! Of course you have to! You are my roommate. It's in the statue of roommateship. Right below the article that says that you do not use their toiletries without asking. What? Yeah, of course I would. If you were ever having a really bad day, I hereby give you permission to come to my bed and snuggle up to me. Actually, your, your day doesn't even have to be all that bad. Maybe if you're just a little stressed out, you could come over and snuggle. Or... If you just kind of feel like cuddling, you could... No, I don't like you! Where did you get that idea, creep? Again, it, it's just the two of us in this apartment. So, I simply have no other options. That's all. I've been running low on cuddles since... I don't know when, and... Every now and then, I simply need a hug or someone ruffling my hair or whatever. You know, to, to recharge my comfort batteries. Physical affection is really important for one's mental well-being, don't you know? So, with your rude refusal to let me cuddle you, you are actively sabotaging my mental health. Do you want me to be mentally unwell? Do you? No, I can't ask my friends. Are, are you crazy? I can't just walk around asking for people for hugs, okay? Because then everybody would immediately go, Oh, look at that cute, dainty, fragile little girl. She needs some hugs. Maybe we should also give her a teddy bear and a security blanket. And we shouldn't let her do any of the difficult, important jobs lest we overstrain her girly wee brain. And that's why I decided to cuddle with you. Because you are my only roommate. So I don't need to worry about anyone walking in on us. Plus, you're such a wimp you definitely won't tell anyone that I came to your bedroom to cuddle. So you are simply the obvious choice. You're convenient. Like microwave pizza. And this has nothing to do with me liking you or anything. Why did you even ask though? Do you, um, like me? Hey, don't change the subject now. After all, you started this. You know, if there's anything you wanted to confess to me, I, I wouldn't be at all against it. So be a man for once and finally confess to me. Hey, don't go, huh, on me now. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Confess to me already for how essentially forever you've had the biggest crush on me and how you've always fantasized about me and how you always get jealous when I see you with other girls. I, I mean, um, when you see me with other girls. Uh, I mean, boys. Stop distracting me. Yes, you are. You are distracting me by being warm and cuddly. Oh, for real now, can't you just shut up? up. I'm really tired. I, I just want to go to sleep. Can't you just let me have this? Just a little spooning and nuzzling you and stroking your, um, where do I have my hands right now? Your chest. Uh, do you really not like this? I mean, I know I'm not always the most amiable roommate, but I thought at least my cuddles would be something we could both agree were nice. Do you really not like them? Oh, really? <laughs> Excellent. 
We can do this all night if you want. I... I certainly don't mind. Um... Hey, Rumi? You know how earlier I said these cuddles are purely platonic? Um... Yeah, well, uh... You see... The thing is, they... They don't have to be all that platonic. If... If you don't want to, I mean... What do you mean, what do I mean? Are you dense? I'm trying to explain to you that I lo- Um... I- I do like you a tiny little bit. Like, more than just a roommate. And that's- that's why I want to have more than roommate cuddles with you. No, that doesn't mean you can be the big spoon. I don't care that you're taller than me. I have the bigger ego, and my ego wants to wrap its arms around you and nuzzle into your neep. So, be quiet already and go back to sleep. No, we don't need to talk about anything. We can do that tomorrow. Right now, I'm, I'm tired and I just want to cuddle. I'm not squeezing you too tightly, am I? Good. Um, maybe I could put my hands under your shirt now? Or you could just take that shirt off. That would actually be even bet. Oh, I can put them under your shirt? <laughs> Excellent. I knew we would come to an agreement. So, are you comfy like this? Perfect. Then, good night and sweet dreams, darling. Uh huh? N no, I, I didn't call you darling. You must have misheard. Now, shut up and go to sleep. Darling.